everyone, and welcome back to another edition of Candle Pin for Kids. I'm your host, Steve Reno, and we bring you back the 14 to 15 age group for their final week of a five-week series. And uh, these bowlers are going to be looking to break a 224 score that was hit by Carla Kajana and David Godwin. Uh, so they got their work cut out for them a little bit, but a very, very reachable score. Uh, to my right here, I have uh, my favorite host. This guy does a great job with me, and I love having him here. Dan Schubach, off here. How you doing, Dan? Thanks, Steve. Thanks for having me on. I still got that cold. Three straight weeks, I can't shake it. Just won't go away. Uh, I know. I know how you feel. I had it a while back myself. Uh, Dan, well, why don't you tell us who we have for bowlers today? Who's coming in in the blue team? On the blue team, we've got Samantha Berry from Lemonster and John Blaze from right here in Southbridge. A couple of bowlers that have been, been with us in the past. Uh, it should be, should be a great match up there. Uh, who are they uh, taking on? Who's our uh, roll-off winners in the red team? The winners are uh, one familiar face, Tiffany Thibodeau, who I think has been on every single show I've co-hosted. She's from Lemonster. And uh, another Reno, Steve. Steve Reno, your oldest son from Southbridge. All right. Another great team. Uh, all our bowlers have been with us before. So this, this should be a great match. They're going to try to break that 224 score, Dan. I, I, I'm going to say, Steve, I think somebody's going to do it today. I think somebody's going to beat that score. I hope so. I hope both our teams brought their best ball with us. Uh, Dan, you and I will talk some more as the show goes along. Well, let's bring up today's bowler. The team here is the challenging team. We'll talk to them first. We have Samantha Berry and John Blaze. Sam, it's a pleasure to have you back. How do you feel today? I'm good. Are you ready to uh, put up some big numbers? Yeah. You think you can break that 224 score? Yeah. I hope so. How about the double strike? I'm still looking for the double strike for the bowling balls. You think you can do that? I'm going to try. Have you ever thrown a double strike? Yeah. So if you've done it once, you can do it again. Well, it's a pleasure to have you back. Uh, you got anything going on uh, this summer besides bowling? Uh, what are you doing right now when you're not bowling? I cheerlead and play softball. All right, hey, we finally got a softball player. All right, great job. Sounds like you're very active. How, uh, how do you find time to do everything? I don't know. Must keep you pretty busy. Well, it's a pleasure to have you back, Sam. Uh, your partner, John Blaze, one of one of my students here at the, at the American Lanes in my youth program. Great, great young man, great bowler. How do you feel today, John? Feeling good. You think uh, you think you brought your best bowler with you? I hope so. Yeah. Now, have you thrown a double strike yet? Yeah. Have you thrown a triple? No. Maybe today. Maybe today. What do you think, John? Today? Yeah. You doing uh, anything besides bowling? Um, I'm playing baseball for a uh, bowling game. All right. Great. Great job. Well, best of luck. Uh, you bowled in the state tournament this year, right? Did you Did you win any titles? Um, we came in first place in teams. I think I placed first place in all events and first place in singles. All right. Great, great showing, John. Congratulations. Well, it's a pleasure having both of you here today. I hope you brought your best bowling. Let's meet our, uh, our championship team. This team uh, qualified first in our roll-off. We have Tiffany Thibodeau and Steven Reno. Uh, Tiffany, you have been here a lot. Tiffany's like on here every week. She must own stock in this show. <laughs> Uh, how do you feel today, T? Pretty good, Steve. You think uh, you think you brought your best ball with you? I hope. I hope so too. Now, have you ever thrown a double strike? No. Now, in the roll off, in the roll off, this girl was on fire. You rolled over 500. You had over 100 average. Uh, have you have you done any bowling since the roll off since last week? No. So I think you're still hot. I think she, this girl's ready to go today. Uh, now, are you doing anything besides uh, the bowling right now? No. Just the bowling, huh? All right, well, it's a pleasure to have you back, Tiffany. Uh, your partner, Steven Reno, my boy. You got to meet my whole family here the last couple of weeks. Uh, Steven's been on fire. He's, he's really been doing some great, great bowling. How do you feel today? I'm feeling great. Now, you did very well in the state championships this year. Can, you care to share that with us? I got first in singles, uh, first in teams, first in all events, and I think third in doubles. Great, great showing. I'm very, very proud of you, Steven. Uh, you, he's carrying over 100 average now, and he's about to become the best bowler in Southbridge. He's going to take over those reins from another bowler. I can, I, very shortly, this kid's awesome, let me tell you. Um, it's a pleasure to have both of you here today. We want the double strike. Steven, you got the double striking on today? Yep. I hope so. Let's see it. 
Well, it's gonna, this is going to be a great match. We're going to have our gentlemen take a seat. Our ladies will take their position on the lanes. And Tiffany will draw up the first ball to get us started. All right, Tiffany Pivotal, nice backdoor action. Samantha Barry with a hammer. Oh, baby. What a start, Dan. First strike of the last three weeks, Steve. Nice start by Samantha Barry. Tiffany Pivotal, just sliding by on that spare leave. Uh, be looking to take out the 10 marks. I told you, Steve, somebody's aiming for that 220, what was it, 223 score today? 224, Dan. They're going to be it today. I hope you're right. We have a great start. Thibodeau and Reno with a nine. Barry and Blaze with the hammer. Right here. Oh, Tiffany Thibodeau right back then. Yeah, she says, uh, what's that? That doesn't bother me. Oh, I was hoping for the double. Sam was all over that head pin. Just a hair full. Tiffany Thibodeau grabs her spare. What a stop by our ladies. Oh, look out. Yeah, and it's an impressive uh, seventh goal on that. I hate seeing a spread eagle after a strike. Took out the right side of that wing. Looking for the 10. Tiffany Thibodeau qualifies for today's show with a 528. She had two 115 games in that stretch and a 101. A 104 and a 93. Great, great bowling by Miss Thibodeau. Samantha Berry was second place at our roll-off with a 445. Sam's top game was a 103. It's just as you predicted, Steve. Uh, Tiffany's picking up at that same hot pace she left off on after her semifinals. Just barely missing a spare of that last box by Nick for the nine. A nice 34 start. 34 through three for Thibodeau and Reno. Samantha Berry and John Blaze. Are at 35. It's a one pin difference. A great start for our bowlers. Looking to grab that 224 score. They want to beat out Carla Kachana and David Godwin if possible. Right on the head pin. Little, little heavy there. Great ball nonetheless. Tiffany Thibodeau goes to Southeast School. Why Samantha Berry goes to Lemonster High. <laughs> Tiffany Thibodeau grabs a six in the fourth box for 40 through four. Samantha Berry a seven for 42. We're coming upon the fifth box here and then the boys will be up to finish out the second half of game one. Tiffany's going to shine here if she's on the head pin there. Yeah, it's going to be tricky. She's going to have to hit that head pin full enough to take the 8 and 9, but yet find a way to carry the 10 as well. And the berry all over it. Oh! Just like you said, Dan, didn't carry the 8. Yeah, it was a tough leave. Tough to be full enough to carry the two middle pins and find a way to carry the 10 as well. Nice 9 box by Tiffany Tippett and a solid 49 half. Samantha Berry with a 9 box. And a 51 half, it's a two pin difference. A great start by our young ladies today. Here comes the boys and teammates, John Blaze and Steven Reno. They bowl together in the state uh, championship. They bowl together in Mass Youth Travel League. Steven almost dropping the hammer in the first box. Said he was gonna roll me that double strike today, Dan. Yeah, he didn't say he knew anything about ballet. And that was a beautiful move to Steven. <laughs> He's uh, almost got called for a lob on that one. Missing his spear to the right. Grabs his 10 box. It goes to show you no shot is a gimme in this game. You have to hit him. No shot is a gimme, and our lob line judge today is uh, Dave LaValle, right? We've got some less dead with this player here. Dave LaValle with our lob line judge. I know, Steve, I did that for you last month. But that's a tough job. Very tough job. Steven off on the corner on that shot, dropping six pins, leaving four standing. The one, three, seven, and eight. John Blaze all over the head pin. Tough 
ball by Reno. He'll be looking to get his 8-9 count. Blaze has a chance if he hits the object. Oh, the wood didn't, didn't, didn't quite carry. Nice try. Seven blocks for Reno. They have a very tight match. See if our bowls can put a couple of marks together here. 66 for Thibodeau and Reno through seven to 69 for Barry and Blaze. Off the head pin, but a makeable spare lead, Dan. Yep. And so that's for Steve Reno, who uh, I want to point out Stevie in the ball fight match. I was bowling next to a baser. And uh, I tried to egg you on, Steve, to bet a dollar in one game, and your son took me up on it. And thanks to him, I'm one dollar short today in my wallet. Hey, we have a spin by John Blaze. Nice 10 by Reno. Blaze will be looking to load that spear up. Reno just sliding by the head bend. Blaze off to the quarter pin, but still gets a six count on that spear. So the lead has grown now for the blue team. They're up by nine. Reno seems to be out of sync a little bit after missing that single. Yeah, I've seen him, I've seen him much better, obviously. I, I have every confidence in the next half he'll pick it up. Jonathan, on the other hand, is finding a way to knock the pins down. John Blaze throwing a nice ball there, great 10 marks. Big one, John, big one. Down to the final box in the first game. Barry and Blaze at 95, Thibodeau and Reno at 84. Very close match. With a full string to go. As I stated before, these boys are teammates in the uh, Mass Shoot Travel League, along with the bowler we saw last week, uh, Dan Togaz, leading in their division, going into the final stop in Woburn, Mass. If they can uh, maintain that lead, they'll both for the title against the other division. Okay, we're at 93 game. While Barry and Blaze, a six and a 101, we have an eight pin difference in the match. We're gonna go to break and have our bowlers switch sides and we'll be, we, we will be back in just a moment. All right, we're back with string number two here. It's an eight pin lead for Barry and Blaze in the blue team. Our girls are gonna step up to start game two now with Samantha Barry in the blue throwing out the first ball. Very, very close match. Samantha Berry on the head bend. Tiffany Pivotal all over it. And the kick A. Oh, there's the hammer. Tiffany Pivotal. I think she remembered Samantha starting off with a strike the last game and she wanted to say, I can do that too. Can we get another one? Samantha Berry going for the spare. Just a hair wide on the wood. Maybe a little farther right than what she wanted. See if she can pick up her nine box. Solid nine. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're looking for that double strike. Maybe the crowd can cheer him over. She's on a head pin. Oh, just missed. Just missed, Dan. Yeah, I like the last box. That ball tailed left just a little bit at the end. Took her off the head pin. Did a tough leave to pick up, too. Thought she was going to be in there. Oh, oh, six pin fill on the strike. Tightens the match right up again. It's going to be a close match right down to the final couple of bosses, Dan. Yeah, she kind of down to just a one pin lead. Samantha Berry with a nice 10 box there. 19 after two. Berry and Blaze have a great chance here. They need a 123 to tie. And a 124 to take over the overall lead. I know they can do it. All our bowlers today qualified uh, for today's show on the Colonial Bowling Center in Worcester, Mass. Nick Anderson, the proprietor over there. What a great shot by Tiffany Thibodeau for the spare. You don't see that shot every day, Dan. No, that's an extra, extra tricky shot, Steve. You've got to be full enough to carry all three of those back bends. Very difficult shot. Well done. 
Well, our red team's going to be looking to take uh, the lead here. She's on a head pin. Oh, big ball, Dan. Very similar to the strike balls. Didn't get the little extra carry at the end. See if Sam can run these down. She's on a head pin. Nice shot by Samantha Berry. Oh, tough ball by Tiffany Thibodeau there. Yeah, that'll be a seven count. Nice nine box by Samantha Berry. And Tiffany Thibodeau finishes with a seven box there in the fourth frame. Seven. And the red team with Thibodeau and Reno are at 47. It's a two pin difference in favor of the red team. Very close match. The boys will be back up in a moment to finish out game two. And they're gonna have to get hard if they're gonna wanna break that 224 score. They both have a chance if they can run three, three, four marks in a row here. I've seen them do it before. Nice nine marks by Samantha Berry. Another respectable half. Tiffany, a tough six there, but still a very respectable 53 half. And the blue team taking the back the lead by one pin. At the half, it's 46-53 in favor of the red team, but overall, it's a one pin lead for the blue. Very, very close, Dan. Yeah, this is, this is where I have the pleasure this week of seeing one of the tightest matches we've seen in the last three weeks, Steve. That, that's exciting. See what the boys can do here. Nice fair lead by John Blaze to start there. See if Reno can cut this over. Oh, a little far left on the wood, Dan. Yeah, a little further left than he wanted to be, I'm sure. Steve, you and I were talking between halves. Um, I noticed about Jonathan, he reminds me a lot of, of myself at the same age in terms of his style of bowling. And uh, I offered to be his coach for just 10% of his future earnings, but he's still bowling that one over. I think. We don't get him the warning from our uh, love line judge, Dave LaValle, telling him to keep it down. Got a little lift on that ball. Here's a nice ball. Oh, spread eagle. Blaze looking to run these three pins down. Very close match. Got to pick pins. Very, very tight here. Blaze with the nine box. We go. Nice nine box. Still a one pin difference with three boxes remaining, Dan. That's, that's an excellent nine, Steve. It's very important. It keeps it within one pin with only three boxes to go. You know, we wanted to mention uh, the, these boys, how uh, well they did in the state tournament representing the Southbridge. Uh, Steven Reno had a 569 for five strings that, uh, to win the singles title this year. Uh, he also rolled a 502 in the doubles and a 356 for three games in the team event for a 1427. Uh, a solid, solid showing. Reno looking for the spare. Wow, clutch shot by Steven Reno. John Blaze with a nice 10 mark. Going down to the final two of the end. Very, very tight. Yeah, obviously very tight. Uh, Reno who's behind by one is Piana Phil. John Blaze also placed first in the team event in the States. Uh, John's high single is 150. He's got a high triple at 346, and John's high five is 555. He's had a great year this year. And we're not done yet. Reno getting seven on that spare, and another one to make it. Oh, he hit it! He hit it, clutch shot, Dan. Yeah, clutch shot, but he's been on some of my teams. And, uh, I sort of expected out of him after a while. Plays with a 10 box. John throwing a good ball. Just hadn't been able to convert the spare. He'll need a big finish here. Looking for that hammer. We want the double. Oh, Blaze on the head pin. He got that same break just like he did in the six box. Oh, we still have a very close match here, Dan. This ain't over yet. Yeah, with that fill, it gives John a chance if he can convert. Blaze needs this spare. Oh, just slides by. Well, Reno needs an out. This ain't done yet. He's got to play it safe. He needs a few pins here. 
Blaze grabs his nine box for a 92 and a total of 193. Reno plays that ball safe, covers the six box, and I believe the red team has snuck out the win here. Uh, they got a 105. Thibodeau and Reno with a 105 that last string and a 93. That's a 198 for the red team. And the blue team is a score of 101 and 92 for a 193. So the red team uh, merges victorious here. Great ball and tight right down to the end. Well, we're gonna have our uh, we're gonna take a break here and we'll, we'll be back with all the problems. Yeah, what a great match. That, we're right down to the end. Back and forth three or four times. Uh, one or two pin matches. Yeah, what more can you expect? Uh, it's a great, great match. Well, let's bring up our, uh, our runners-up today in the blue team. Samantha Berry and John Blaze. Right in here, guys. Right in the middle. Congratulations. A, a very close match. Could have went either way. Uh, Sam, how'd you feel out there, out there today? You started out the match with a hammer. I thought you were going to get the double. What happened? I don't know. I just... <laughs> it just didn't happen, huh? Well, it was a pleasure having you here. You bowled awesome today. You had a 51 half and a 46. Very respectable 97 game. This is not the uh, fastest of bowling alleys. Uh, so you, you, you did great today. Uh, you think we'll see you back next season? Oh, yeah. I hope so. I hope so. Any big plans this summer? No, just camping and going on vacation. All right. Well, we want. We hope you have a blast. I hope you have a great summer. Uh, we can't thank you enough, John Blaze. Just missed a couple of those marks there, buddy. Especially that one in the six box with the wood. You hit it a little far left. It didn't carry. How'd you feel out there today? I felt comfortable. You, you throw a great ball, John. You got a lot of speed. You're very accurate. Uh, I think you're saving your best bowling. For the, uh, for the uh, travel league, what do you think? Yeah. Uh, you get to choose one of the prizes off the table. Uh, we can't thank you both enough, and we hope we'll see you back next season on our show, okay? Let's hear it for the blue team today. Good job. All right, let's bring up our championship team today in the red. Tiffany Thibodeau and Steven Reno. Tiffany, great, great job today. You were on fire. I, I called it. I said, I, you hadn't bowled since last week. You were on fire last week. I figured you'd carry that in with you today, and you did. Uh, a strike, a couple of spares. You guys earned $30 on your gift card today. Uh, the blue team earned $20. Uh, great, great show. How'd you feel today? Great. I just want to say, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's hot. She's on fire. You did great, Tiffany. Uh, any big plans this summer? Going to the beach. Sounds like fun. You gonna be checking out all the boys when you go? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, we hope you have a great summer and a lot of fun, Tiffany. Uh, you're you're an excellent young lady. Uh, Stephen Reno, is this your first win on the show? Yeah. Finally got a win. It didn't come easy though, did it? You had a little tough start. Did, when you missed that single with the wood, did it shake you up a little bit? A little. It, it started to maybe start thinking a little bit. When you miss an easy mark like that, it can get to you sometimes. Well, you ended up breaking out of it that second half. Uh, you put a couple of spears in a row together. Nice job. Uh, you still let John in the match when you filled that spear with the half wister. You threw the Reno on it. What was up with that? I don't know. I just lost the head pin. Well, uh, excellent, excellent job. Uh, what do you think? You think you're gonna bring that title home from Woburn? Yeah. We hope so. Uh, you, you guys represent Southbridge. Great, great job. People of Southbridge should be very proud of our bowlers here in town. They do an excellent job. Uh, well, we're gonna have you stay here, all right? Dan, any last words? No, just congratulations to the age group. This is one of my favorite age groups. I group of people that I know. And uh, next year when Steve comes back, I'm sure he'll be taller than me. <laughs> just might be, man. He's going to be taller than me too pretty soon. Well, we want to uh, congratulate Carla Kajana and uh, David Godwin for winning uh, uh, this age group. Uh, we're going to get them their championship jackets. Uh, it's been a wonderful, wonderful season. We have one week left with the 16 to 18 year olds. Uh, hopefully we'll have another big match. 
Uh, we can't thank you guys enough. And you want to say bye to the people of Salvage for me? Bye. Bye. All right. Bye from all of us here in the uh, Caleb and the Kids Show. Uh, for Paul Zotos and the Salvage Cable Access Channel, I want to thank all of you at home for watching our show and thank all of our audience here today. It's been a great, great time. And uh, we'll see you next week on our final show. Take care, everyone. We'll, we'll catch you later.